Hello, Senior Stoner fan. Just the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Blue Laser Edition Carta Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Today is late in the day on Tuesday. My life kind of lately is today's topic. Is it possible to feel happy and sad at the same time? Let's discuss. We all know that mixed emotions, which is what it's called, can feel strange. But they're not unusual. They're not unusual. I, right now, am both happy and sad. And there's a lot of evidence, psychologists say, that it's totally possible. Typically, the emotional landscape is laid out in such a way that we're feeling one or the other, happy or sad, or neither. But there are places where we can feel both. And those places are, frankly, few and far between. But they're interesting. When somebody's asked if it's possible to feel those mixed emotions, people immediately say, yes, of course. It's a universal experience. We feel mixed emotions all the time. But a more scientific approach, a better look at it, would mean it's a little bit more bittersweet. Because what you're doing is you're pushing one button to be happy, triggering a happy state, and then you're triggering another button, calling maybe bittersweet, where it's not so happy. So feelings are also beginnings that make emotionally rich situations. And common scenarios, unfortunately, are when people are in bad situations health-wise, and someone actually says, that person would be better off out of pain right now. They're very sad because of the loss, but they're happy because they can prevent the person from feeling so bad. It's very difficult. People think of the suffering, but they also think of what might be beyond and maybe without suffering. So our mind truly has the range. It does. But people who think you can't be happy and sad at the same time have never eaten all the chocolate chip cookies in their house in one sitting. That's not a joke. Because if you do things like that, eventually you're going to become a little bit sad about it. Our mind has the range to feel happy and sad at the same time because it helps us adapt. It allows us to feel the extremes. Sadness, however, is often thought to be a sign that you need to step back to take stock, to see where you've been and see where you're going. Maybe one chapter of a life has ended and another is a beginning. And that's a really good idea. And it doesn't take anything away from the joy and your pride of your life. So what happens is you can have sadness possibly as an exit to a situation. I'm sad that I have to leave now. You're happy because you've been able to live and you've been able to have the fun and you've been able to have the experiences that you've been having with those people that you care about. The sadness is it's short-lived. You've got to go back home. You've got to go wherever you have to go. Or you can't go anywhere right now. Happy because I have such a lovely, wonderful family. Sad because I live in chronic pain all day long. Happy because I have a wonderful ability to share with people and try to help them. Sad because I can't interact with them all individually as I would like to. I get comments and things like that. But it's not like picking up the phone and calling somebody and having a conversation. You know what I'm saying? So there's happiness and there's sadness, I think, a lot in people's lives. I think people don't fess up to it, frankly. But I think everyone, everyone is capable of happiness. You might not know you're happy, but you're capable of happiness. And everyone, unfortunately, is capable of sadness because bad things happen. People get sad. People have unpleasant things they have to deal with. The challenge, the question is, can it happen at the exact same time? I say yes. And I don't want to call it mixed emotions. I want to be more definitive about it. You're happy because of your circumstance with external things, your family. You are sad because your body's failing you. That's a very specific thing. I'm happy because I'm able to share these things that I talk about with all the people that want to listen on YouTube. I'm sad because we can't have phone conversations. 
you can't come over to my house and hang out with me. I would love that. So it can happen that we have extremes of both. Really happy and really sad at the same time. The challenge, I think, for everyone out there, me, everyone out there, is to make sure that when you have happy and sad at the same time, you have more happy than you do sad. That's a tall order, I know. But wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't that be something if we could dial up a formula that would bring us more happiness than sadness? Even if they're at the same time, you have to deal with the bad one to get the good one. But you know what? What if it was more good than bad? I bet everybody would sign up. Everybody would say, well, if I have to deal with a little bit of bad to get the good, I'll do it. But I don't want to be overcome with the bad. I want to be able to taste and feel and enjoy the good. This is The Real Senior Stoner. And if you enjoyed today's discussion on being happy and sad at the same time, please subscribe. Send me your comments. I reply to every one of them and I truly enjoy them. Have a great day and let's take our dab. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching, and let's try to be more happy than sad. Cheers.